Well, here comes a cracking boat. She's called Mad Hatter. She's a 62-foot <coughs> barge-style cruiser stern narrowboat built in 2009 by Colcraft and fitted out really nicely by Russ Hubble. She was last blacked in 2021, just up the road at Hayford Field. She had four new anodes put on her at the time. Engine was serviced April this year. That cratch cover's only three years old, very good condition. All of the proportions on this boat are really generous. Big rooms, tall head height, tall pram hood there at the back. She's in lovely condition. She's been in the same hands since new, actually, and been a liverboard, so her credentials are tried and tested. Water tanks at the front there, 900 litres. There is a water filter in the galley. Portholes in the front of the boat. Super wide gunnels actually make walking down the gunnels very easy. Nice handrails on the top as well. Solar panels on the roof there. 260 watts. <clears throat> Go around the fence. Really beautiful boat. I love the, the lines on her. The stern deck's enormous. Eight foot three inches long. Really good social space. And all of the panels can come out of this pram hood, so it can just be a sun cover or you can have it completely enclosed. Lovely back deck, there's a table there, a couple of comfy seats, some storage on the outside. The engine's in here, it's a Barashire 40. There is a hospital silencer on her, so she's super quiet when you're driving. PRM gearbox. The batteries are under there. Plenty of battery power, six 125 amp hour AGM domestics. There's also a starter battery and there's a couple of bow thruster batteries. She does have a bow thruster, it's a Vita's 55 kgf. There's a view from the helm. Haven't measured the height of the pram hood actually, but it's uh, super tall. There's light there for the back deck. Lovely space. All right, let's go and have a look inside. She's fitted out an American white oak with oak trim. We'll come back to the galley. A couple of cupboards here. This one's got a separate freezer in. That's a lek. And down here is the washing machine. That's a Zanussi AquaCycle. It's only 18 months old. Fuse switches and things in here. There's an inverter next to the freezer, actually. It's a 3 kilowatt, Vic, uh, three kilowatt 24 volt Victron inverter and charger. Storage under these steps. <clears throat> and in here is a cupboard. It's quite good for hanging coats and things. Quite handy for the back deck. And into the galley. Another good size room, 13 feet 4 inches long. The worktops in here are African Iroko. There's the fridge, 230 volt larder fridge. Plenty of storage space in this kitchen. The floor is lino in here and the rest of the boat is Carmdine, oh, with some carpet in the bedroom actually. Lovely shaped windows. There's a cling film cutter, another good size cupboard here. And this is the heritage range. This does your cooking, does your hot water, does your central heating. Absolutely beautiful bit of kit. There's an oven there and an oven underneath it. Very pretty thing. Very expensive as well, I should imagine. There's a side hatch there. A wine rack under there. Really nice wood, these worktops. A ceramic sink and lots of storage underneath. And over here is a, I don't know what you actually call these, I'm calling it a larder cupboard, but floor to ceiling shelves. Got them at home actually, they're really useful. Now well, I'll come back to that hook. Have another look down the galley. Huge room. Really nice working space. Saloons next. There's a side hatch there. A two seater, super comfy sofa. These portholes, they've got really clever blackout bungs, I suppose you'd call them. 
There's a comfy armchair there. There's a footstool for that down the other end of the saloon. This is a gate leg dining table. There's four collapsible chairs under there. Lovely radiators. More so squirrel, solid fuel stove. And over here is a sort of desk area, I suppose. Storage underneath it. That black thing you see under the desk there is a subwoofer. There's a Boss surround sound system for the television, which is a 32-inch Avtex TV. Bose, I think you pronounce it. And this is clever. If you need more workspace, whatever you're doing, that locks in there. So your desk comes forward to the boat. That television, by the way, does have a self-seeking satellite, a Caro Vision self-seeking satellite. The saloon, I didn't mention, 19 feet long. Room for, you do what you like, really. Sofa bed as well in here, if you want to put more people up. The bathroom's next. Five feet, two inches long. There's a heated towel rail there. Ceramic sink. And it's a pump-out loo, electric macerator, and a nice quadrant tiled shower unit. There's an extractor fan in the ceiling in here. Head height, talking of ceilings. I've never seen a boat with such good head height. Six foot 11, this boat. The towel rail, by the way, can be heated uh, electrically when you're plugged into the landline. And the bedroom's in the forward cabin. The bed's a good size. Six foot four inches long, four foot six wide. You saw a couple of doors in the forward bulkhead there. That gives you air as well and a means of escape should you need to get out. A couple of wardrobes either side of the boat here. And that's it. She's such a lovely boat. Hot water on board, the 75 litre chlorophyll, that's heated by the, the heritage range, the engine, and there is also an immersion heater on board. All the lighting's LED. She's gas free, that's that's worth making a point of actually with the with the heritage range there. There's a galvanic isolator on board. Lots and lots of space in this boat. All the woodwork is beautifully fitted out. Not sure why I'm showing you that again. I think I forgot that I opened it on the, on the way through. But there we go. It's getting to me. So there we go. That's Mad Hatter. Lovely boat. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.